Hi, happy Valentine's Day, everybody. I'm here to do a little haul. And, oh, before I get started, let me show you my shirt I made out of pink felt. So I made that and I wore that today for Valentine's Day. And I also have my little heart earrings on, um, which I got from Avon in that pack of earrings that I showed in a haul recently. And also, I wanted to show you um, what I got from eBay. I got this set of five nail dotting tools and they're dual ended. There's each end. And yesterday I played around with them for the first time and I did my nails. I was trying to get festive and do Valentine's Day nails. So there's those. I think they turned out pretty good for the first time. So I'm really excited to try more and more of that. Now, the next thing I got was from Outlook, and I ordered that back in January, and they just came, and I'm so excited to try them. I haven't tried them yet, um, and I'm sorry that my bangs are all jacked up tonight, but I just trimmed them, so I had to cut them and trim them, and they're all messed up, but I wanted to do this haul, and I didn't care, so I hope you don't either. Okay, so the brushes came with this little travel pack, which I think is nice, but not for the brushes I got with it because they don't really fit in these little pockets at the bottom, but other brushes would. Like, a smaller brush would definitely fit. Like one of these, if I were to slide it in here, it like just barely fits, as you can see. So these wider ones are not going to fit. But it will be nice for traveling with smaller brushes. So there's the case that came with it. And then the brush set came with seven brushes. And I will start with the face brushes. The first one, and they don't have any names on the handles. I had to look them up online. This is the Affinity line from Crown Brush. And this is the round buffer brush. And it kind of reminds me of the, and I'm sorry it's dirty, the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush as far as how it looks. The Expert Face Brush is more squeezed, and this one's more round, but it has that same kind of shape to it. So I'm hoping this will be really nice for foundation. It, they are super soft. Um, I washed these, but I haven't used these yet. I only used one brush out of the set so far. So that's the round buffer. And online on the Crown Brush site, which I will link in the down bar below, um, you can only buy these individually right now. The next one is the Pointed Powder, and here's that one. And I don't have a brush like this, and I really wanted one, so I'm excited to try this. Um, I think it would be good for, like, under your eyes, setting your foundation, because I have another one in this set that I use for actual or foundation. Setting your concealer. But I have another one in here that I actually use for concealer, so this would make a nice um, powder brush for setting your concealer. So there's that one, and this is the pointed powder on the Crown Brush website. The next one I have is the angled contour, and it looks like this. And I think it's similar to the one from Sigma. This is the Sigma brush, the F80. And I think this one's similar to the angled one like this. The flat top is the F80, and then the angled one is like an F82 or an F84 or something. But I think it's very similar to that in the Sigma line. And this one, again, is the angled contour from Crown. Then I have the angled shadow. Um, I think this is too big to be a shadow brush, but I'm sure I'll find a use for it. Uh... I mean, it would be good for, I guess, putting, I don't know, it seems pretty big. Maybe putting color on the lid, but for, that's a big brush. Like, covers my whole eye, so I'm not sure. But it would work good under your eyes, in your nose, corner of your nose, around your mouth, kind of thing. So that is the angled shadow. Then I got a flat blender brush, and it's also little, um, so there's that one, that's the flat blender. 
Then I got the pointed blender, and this one's dirty. This is the only one I used in the set so far, and I've used this to apply concealer under my eyes, and it's a great um, shape and size for that, so just tap in there. It gets right up in the inner corner. It's great. So I really like this brush, and I've already used that this week. And the last one is the round blender. And it's just like the big, there's the size difference of the two sizes. This is the round buffer, and this is the round blender. So you can see the size. And also the pointed blender is this one, and then the pointed powder is this one. And the last one that are similar, here is the angled shadow and the angled contour and the size difference on those. So those are the seven brushes that came in that set and I'm anxious to start using the other ones and trying them out. Now the next thing I got from eBay is this um, Skin 79 Miniature BB Cream Set. I've been wanting to try these BB creams, so I just bought this little set. And I can try to find the seller and link it in the description box below also. Um, it came with four. This is the gold. This is the hot pink. The pink diamond. And then the diamond pearl. And I'm planning on doing a little mini series. It might take a couple times to film them all, but, whoops, now where did that go? Hold on, I'm sorry. Okay, so, I'm thinking of doing like a little mini series where I apply each of these foundations and give you a first impression. I'm not going to do like wear it all day or anything because I might have to film two videos in one day. Um, just where I apply different ones of these and tell you how I think they look and wear. The only problem I have with these is, I don't know if you can tell, let me see here. Can you hear that? They're like empty. I'm going to be surprised if I get like more than one use out of them because they are really empty. So, I don't know. I'm new to the world of BB creams. The only BB cream that I have right now that I absolutely love is the, I am dropping everything tonight. <sighs> okay, the Leo Ellie BB cream. And I absolutely love this. And this is the Beyond the Solutions one. I got this on either eBay or Amazon last year and I absolutely love it. And it has a pump. It is a bit messy though. As you can see the lid, is like BB cream all over it. But this is definitely a full coverage BB cream. And it's the only one I own. So I was really interested in trying some more BB creams out and see how they work. And I'm going to try these Skin 79 ones. And I'm also going to order after my February no buy is up, which is in 14 more days, by the way. And believe me, on my phone, my list of things that I want keep growing and growing and growing. Um, so I'm going to try these out film little videos for you and let you know how they wear and how I like them. And then I would also like to get the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream. So I'm sure March 1st when my no buy is over, that's one of the first things that I am going to be purchasing because I really want to try that. All right. Thanks for watching and I hope you all had a nice Valentine's Day and see you soon. Bye.